Not bad, no, it's all right. Not a standing ovation quite just yet. That's all right, you know. Um, I personally think it could have been a little bit more fun. Um, I'm, I'm addicted to fun. I love fun. I'm a fun junkie. Yeah. Um, I believe that a lot of things that happen between us humans can be described in terms of games. You know, like systems of, of rules and norms that we play every single day. Intricate arrays of triggers and responses that we take a part in for money or other gain. Yeah. In my oversimplified theory of games, stimulus is both the main objective and the key driver. I would even go as far as to say that stimulus can actually measure or determine the quality of a person's life. Because whereas money can make you rich, only stimulus in the form of love, experience, and other humans' emotions will truly, truly make you wealthy. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what you witnessed right now was a stimulus game called entertainment. Basically, you sit back and you evaluate my skills. You know, sometimes you clap. You clap. Okay. But basically what I'm doing is meeting your expectations, much like Alex today said, right? And that's all right, that works quite well. But it's very one-sided. And I think there's many more fun things that we can do together. A musical performance is a lot like a magic show. There are many things I can do to maximize the stimulus. Yeah. I can play with dynamics and we can get really, really, really intimate. Or I can get real loud and try to energize you. I can manipulate timbre. Rock guitars should sound a lot like this. And no one's gonna dance if you ain't got no bass. No one's gonna dance if you ain't got no bass. No one's gonna dance if you ain't got no bass. And a steady beat will rock the whole place. There's something soothing about pleasantly predictable chords. Yeah. Remind you of some song you've heard before And that helps I can keep this minor And this groove will be very serious Or I can go to major 
and make this groove more positive you know but there are people who have an aversion to positive music it reminds them of like Barney the purple dinosaur things like they don't like it I can raise my eyebrow for theatrical effect I can pretend that I hurt inside Since you left me dear, it hurt so much I can sway in a trance-like state oh, I know you listen to music with your eyes Yes, with your eyes I can stop <laughs> Make you feel very uncomfortable and all these tricks are great, they're grand. But the mother of all performance alchemy, the best trick of all, is where I change the dynamics of this uh, relationship and I move you from spectate to participate. And you become a part of my performance. It's also the most resource effective way of doing so. Because otherwise to stimulate you, you know, I have to get like, hire more musicians, you know, get some fancy lights. Okay, so you want to try to go from spe spectate to participate? Yeah. You want to try it? All right, show me your hands. Cool, these are the resources that you brought here. These are the resources that we're going to employ at the moment. Can I ask you to clap, please? Just as I expected. This is Northern European style of clapping. Very good, you do it very well. Let's try American style. Yeah, 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 I like it, more groovy, come on, Spanish. Very good, now let's mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. Hey, yeah. Sticks and stones might break my bones, but your words can shred my life to bits. My skin is thick, my heart is worn, but it no longer has the proper fit. Busted record, missing tapes, I've heard your joke one too many times. And I could well pretend to laugh if you didn't mess up the goddamn punchline. Very good, give yourself a round of applause. That was beautiful. See, that's the difference between me making music on my own and us doing it together. Okay, now let me explain to you what actually happened here. Basically what I did is I recruited you to entertain yourselves. <laughs> Simple, I did three things. First of all, is I tapped into the resources you brought here today. You know, your hands, your enthusiasm, your voices will come later. <laughs> second thing I did, Second thing I did is I changed the attention from me, like to me, to us. All of a sudden you're looking at what other people are clapping, you're looking at your hands. Very important, very important, because it makes my life easier. <laughs> uh, third thing I did, which is also very, very important, is I gave you a stake in my performance. All of a sudden you're accountable, and you want to try, you don't want to mess up. <laughs> you don't want to mess up. And well, that's very, very important to me. That's very important to me. Um, and that's quite cool. Uh, what else did I need to say? Hold on, I have to remember. You know, uh, these people have these fancy slides. <laughs> ah, very good. You know this brand called like IKEA, IKEA? You know, you know this one, yeah? It's from here, no? Well, my performances are like IKEA music. Yeah, because what I do is I give you the elements, right? And you build it together with me. And I do two things, you know? First, I save on money, which I like. Cost reduction, that's where my MBA came in, you know? It's very good, pass on the cost to somebody else. Second thing I did, which is very, very important, is that um, I gave you, you know, a stake in it. You, you can now be proud. It's like when you build the furniture and you show your wife, you say, hey baby, I made it. You know? That's really cool. And usually you'll do it for fun, you know, we're gonna, you know, I'm a manly man, you know, I build the furniture. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really into this whole um, spectator, uh, moving people from spectator to participate for the sake of fun. But even the person who 
says he's only a spectator is also a participant. Because you need someone to go along with the charade, you need someone to play the game, you know? It's kind of like the, I think it's called the Heisenberg principle in physics, you know, where you need someone to observe reality for it to exist. Am I just talking nonsense or is it something like that? Yeah. Well, you know, it's like a joke, you know? If nobody laughs, then it's not a joke. If I play music and nobody interprets it as music, it's just noise, right? So people involved in it is very important. I'll give you an example of how this works. The artist gives you the dots. You connect them with your imagination. The emotion created by a painting is not confined by the canvas. That book that you are reading, it doesn't happen on the paper. Does it make sense? Now I'm strumming a couple of chords. And you hear music already playing Well that's normal Because most music happens in your head And you want to externalize it So come on externalize it Need you to sing, come on You know the song, see? Uh-huh, yeah, Very good This is beautiful. You know why this is beautiful? Because I won't have to pay royalties for playing Guantanamera. <laughs> you did it for me. This is social capital at work. But something very beautiful also happened. You had connection. You know, those people who sang Guantanamera said, hey, I remember, yeah. You know, it's this sense of being, you know, belonging all of a sudden because you have common values and common experiences. And that's very, very, very powerful. And you did that today. So I really like the power of fun, okay? And I know that there's other things here happening which are not fun. Um, I'm looking at the time because, because I know how much time we have for fun. But anyways, fun is very important. And fun, it makes the complete difference between having to and wanting to. You clapped, you sang, I didn't pay you a cent. Okay, you did it on your own, you know? Uh, for example, if for a person to jump in a frozen lake, you know, what would drive him to jump in a frozen lake? Sweets? <laughs> fun? No? For a person to jump off a building or a bridge? Fun? Bungee jumping? No? Going to the desert into hostile conditions to party for seven days? <laughs> Burning Man? Fun? Why else would you do this kind of nonsense? So I honestly believe that fun is a resource. It is a resource. And people don't understand, because if you do it for fun, you don't need to pay the person. And you know what? They'll be much more motivated. So what I want you to remember today from my talk is that have to, you know, is not as valuable as want to. And if you can make somebody want to, well, then you have a very, very, very tangible resource, okay? I'm now figuring out what to chop out, out of my talk. <laughs> Would you prefer I chop out the talk or the fun? The fun. Who wants fun? Who wants talk? Okay, let's do this. Let's mix, yeah? All right, I would like to encourage you today to be a little bit more subversive, a little bit more fun in your activities. Because when you are a little bit more mischievous, a little bit more subversive, you start to bend the rules. You start to question the rules and roles. You start tweaking the complex array of triggers and responses. For example, I realized that I can do much more than music than just play songs. I can put it on my talk. And all of a sudden I sound very smart. <laughs> and I can entertain you too. Ah, that's added value for me, okay? I would like you to really, really, really understand that you have much more power than you think you do. And you take things for granted unnecessarily. I have a theory. You want to hear my theory? Yes. It's a very cool theory. Um, basically, 
basically, check it out. it's actually quite funny, so just wait for the punchline. <laughs> basically, what happens is the following thing, that we like to spectate, you know? We like to analyze how professionals work. Oh, he's so good. We have become avid and dexterous consumers of media and entertainment and forgotten the fun of being involved. You know, hey, look, Zidane, he kicks it so well. Man, you go and kick the ball, you know? Come on, man. If we apply this logic of leave it to the pros, you know, basically what we're saying is that only the porno actors should be having sex. <laughs> yeah, because they're very good at it. Ding, ding. And they get paid for it as well. Okay? All right, that's good. I shortened what I needed to say just for the sake of fun, because, uh, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. It's much better to get up some fun. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? This is what I specialize in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I need you to stand up. All right, cool. First of all, I need you to stretch a little bit. All right? Second thing I need is I need some people on stage right now. Everybody on the side, get on stage right now. Come on. All right. Okay, very good. Come on, we're going to start flowing. Raise your hands in the air. Very good. Let's get some movement. Let's move this energy around. Oh, very nice. Okay. All right. Many of you will say, I'm going to let that other guy dance, you know? I'm going to let that other guy dance because he's a professional. But I want you to dance today. And what I would like to do is I would like to ask you to show the guys a move you would like them to do right here, my dear. We have movement in the hall. Now I need your voices, okay? I need your voices because people say, I don't know how to sing, that's false. You're just afraid to raise your voice. I need you to sing. All right, come, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer. Get engaged. The way this should sound is you and me. We make this whole thing possible. We're building a community. You and me. Come on, we sing. Make this whole thing possible. We're building a co Now girls! And me. Oh. We make this whole thing possible. We're so beautiful. Don't stop. Very good, very good. Okay, very good. I want to encourage you to believe more in the people around you. Today, I opened up my musical system to you. And hey, you're doing a good job. It sounds really nice. You know, you can do it without me. Can you do it without me? Listen to yourselves. Take a Sing it out to them. See? See? And that's the democratization of entertainment, man. Woo! Yeah, yes! Fantastic. Thank you so much, Yurgis. <laughs>